Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. On the 1st of May 2019, Mohammed Nassar Khan and Tony Grant were found guilty of the murder of Amriz Iqbal. Khan was also found guilty of the attempted murder of a second man. Khan, who is 41 years old, was well known to the police with 51 offences and 10 convictions. The father of three, Amriz Iqbal, who was killed on Sanford Road on October the 3rd when he was run over by a Kia Sedona, a seven-seater family car silver vehicle. This vehicle would play a pivotal role in convicting Mr. Khan, also known in Bradford as Meggy, referred to by the media as the King of Bradford, and the police claim he was a big drug dealer in the north of England. His associate, who he, who he was convicted with, Tony Grant, was actually convicted of being in possession years before of £200,000 worth of heroin and bullets. Another man, Ishmael Salman, who was the co-conspirator, was jailed for 17 years for trying to pervert the course of justice and arson. He attempted to blow up the petrol station that the that Khan and Grant had been filmed at, filling the car up with petrol. And one hour before they ran over their victim, the forecourt was on Whitehall Road. After they had failed to burn it down, they attempted to rob it, uh, arm rob the place. They went in there and demanded the security footage. This actually failed and the cashier attacked them with a stool and managed to defend the people from taking this footage. And when the police looked into that a bit further, they went back to the date of the murder on October the 3rd, 2018, and found the footage of Khan and Grant filling up at the petrol station. In audio released in court, that car, uh, it was a secret audio recorded while there was on remand in prison. This was a two, one person had visited both of them, but the police don't reveal the identity of who recorded these audios, but they used them in court against Khan and Grant. They didn't say anything very incriminating. In fact, Khan was very dismissive. He actually said stuff along the lines of, I couldn't say who was in the car. And also said that he was dropped off and shortly after they had refilled the car at the petrol station. So he wasn't even in the car is what he claimed. And that six men was in the car, but he didn't know who, who it was that did it. Mohammed Khan's history in Bradford is deep. With the 51 offences that Mohammed Khan was known for, in 2011, and he got 30 months for a fray, the last jail term he received before his life sentence. He was first jailed in 1999 when Mohammed Meghi Khan and his accomplice Stephen Barker were both found guilty of robbery after they stole £20,000 from a Securitas officer outside a travel agent's. Suzanne Phillips was the security officer, was struck on the arm with a long stick as she collected cash from the Kashmir travel agents in Barker End Road in December of 1997. Both men fled in a Ford Escort and the getaway vehicle was later found in Maudsley Street. Officers also recovered a knife and a balaclava. When forensic scientists tested DNA found on the balaclava, it was matched to Khan and he was arrested six months after the robbery. Both men were jailed for four and a half years. A decade later, he was back in the headlines, only, only this time as a victim, where he was the subject of a failed attempt on his life. The trial in 2009, of uh, the month was July, involved an uncle and a nephew, taking taking matters into their own hands and allegedly trying to kill Khan after one of them was shot in the leg. The two men were cleared of conspiracy to murder at a trial at Bradford Crown Court. The prosecution said the murder plot was in revenge for a previous shooting where the younger man suffered damage to his leg from a gunshot which ended his career in boxing in June 2007. Khan was shot and wounded at his girlfriend's house in Dublin Kiln Lane, Bingley. August of 2007, the younger man told the court he wanted revenge at Khan, but he only intended to smash his cars up. Another feud between Khan and a Bradford family saw his name mentioned in a third trial in May of 2012. Zishan Khan, 33, a manager at a family-run Saffron Desi restaurant in Leeds Road, Bradford, and David Pemberton, 37, they were imprisoned for 12 years and 3 months. 
and David got 10 years and 11 months at Leeds Crown Court after pleading guilty to conspiracy to possess firearms and ammunition with intent to endanger life. Armed police found a machine gun, sub a Mac-10, a pump-action shotgun and a sniper rifle along with 75 rounds of live ammunition after stopping a van being driven in Bradford in January of last year. The brothers took the law into their own hands to protect their family, they claim. They got an arsenal of weapons after being embroiled in a feud with Meggie Khan for more than 20 years. The court was told that just before 11pm on January the 27th, armed police stopped a transit van on Bradford at Cleck Heaton Road in Oakenshaw. In the back of the van, barely hidden under a carpet, they found the cargo. There was a number of incidents between Meggie Khan and, and the brothers where where the restaurant windows at the Saffron Deli had been smashed and assaults had taken place between the group. During the trial in January of 2017, they tried to describe Khan as an informant for the police. This was following a shooting on the M62 when it was revealed in court in relation to another trial. The trial heard the events surrounding the fatal shooting of Yesia. The, uh, the trial was hearing of the events surrounding the shooting of Yassar Yakub, and three men were charged with conspiracy to possess firearms and ammunition with intent to endanger life. Mr. Yakub met with Khan to sort out a dispute they had just a few hours beforehand. The court also heard that Mr. Yakub and his friend Mosin Amin dined in the calf for over an hour with Meggy and Kashif Tahir. Mr. Yakub was telling Khan why a man called Khalil owed him money. Beggy, Meggy said Khalil told him he did not owe anybody any money. The discussion lasted 20 to 15 minutes, they said. This is what they allege. And it was agreed that Meggy would bring Khalil, the man who apparently owed the money to Yakub, to the meeting the next day. Minutes after meeting in Bradford, Mr. Yakub was shot dead by a police marksman on the M62 at Ainsley in uh, near Huddersfield. So that incident is what led people to start, some people, enemies of Mr. Khan, to start suggesting that he was a police informant when looking into the case it uh, it says the police claim they was they had other intelligence they was on to mr yakub already and they was meant to be watching them and what happened is mr yakub had reached for a firearm in the in, in in the car there was a few firearms in the car other men were convicted of firearms charges in relation to the the police stop and he ended up getting shot dead by the police and then What's happened is I, I see no other evidence to suggest he set up Mr. Yassar Yakub, but at the same time, it's a brilliant way to discredit your enemy because throughout his long career of be of crime, Meggy Khan, there's nothing that I've seen. He seems to have served all these prison sentences. He doesn't seem to be getting any lighter prison sentences, but I, I haven't seen. I, I'm sure I haven't seen everything, but from what I can see, that's that's my point of view. Is I'm not sure how much credibility the claim that the police killed like he got killed because of uh, Meggy Khan and the judges recommended has given him a 26 year prison term and another life sentence for the attempted murder of the man that was with so in total that is about 50 years it's probably one of the biggest sentences I've seen so I'd love to hear what people have to say on this story please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and always comment stories you'd like to, us to look into or things that you find of interest this is the Scar City